We're going to take a quick look at launching in surf. And the first thing we're going to talk about is the ideal beach to launch at. The ideal beach for launching is very much like this. It's got a nice gradual slope into the water and that slope continues to be gradual fairly far out. Uh, the reason that's good is it means the waves are going to break gradually as they come in. If the, if the slope of the beach is too steep, the waves will roll in, pitch up at the last second and dump hard. That makes it really tough to get out, keep your gear organized. I mean, once you're, once you're through those first few waves, you're in the clear, but those last few, uh, the, the last seconds of when those waves crash, they can really hammer you hard. So even on this beach right here, you're gonna have areas that are, are, have less slope and more slope down to the water. So take the time, be patient, sit on shore and, and watch and take a look at where the waves are coming in and where they're coming in nice and smooth and, and rolling in and where they're pitching and dumping and uh, avoid those spots. So once you've chosen your spot, waves come in and set. And the lull between those sets is really when you want to take off. Unless you're dealing with really tiny surf where it doesn't matter. Actually, very much like this, you could, you could pretty much go in at any time. Um, you'll want to wait until those uh, set has rolled through and water's calmed down a bit. As soon as it has, you can grab the bow of your boat and drag it out as quick as you can into about knee deep knee deep water to, to the point where the boat is going to float on its own and it's it's not when the when that wave recedes you're not going to get stuck high and dry on the sand because if you hop on your boat you get stuck high and dry I guarantee you the next wave will come in smoke you and it's going to dump you so walk the boat out as quick as possible everything you do when launching and landing should be very decisive very quick about knee deep water wait for a wave to pass you by until there's a nice calm spot uh, on the other side of that wave and then hop in as quick as you can and just start paddling. Now when we talk about punching breaking through waves, not too much to, to know there except you have to be perpendicular to the wave, especially when it's breaking. And if it is breaking and you're going to have to really punch through it, then take the last powerful stroke as you hit it. That stroke, it does two things. It helps pull you through the wave, but it also stabilizes you. If you don't have a blade in the water, then when you, that wave hits you, you can flip left, you can flip right, you don't know which way you're gonna flip. If you take that stroke, it's acting as much as a power stroke through as a brace for you to, uh, to support yourself on. Uh, the other thing I like to do too, if the wave is big enough, is as I take that stroke, I'll tuck my head in behind the top arm and that just cushions the blow of that breaking wave against my ear and against my face and it's amazing how much power a breaking wave can have when it hits you. So plan to be a powerful stroke as you punch through the wave and tuck your head behind your top arm. You should be able to break through most good sized waves. Coming up, coming up. 